Hi, my name is Marta Carrillo. Today I will teach you how to make a shoebox altar for Dia de los Muertos. Altares and ofrendas are the centerpiece of Dia de los Muertos. While most altares are typically built in private homes or in cemeteries, they have grown to become a larger public construction that represents entire communities of people. Most altares contain photos of deceased loved ones, favorite foods and objects, pan de muerto, bread of the dead, flowers, usually marigolds, candles to light the way of the spirit, a glass of water so that the spirits can quench their thirst after a long journey, and copal incense. These items also symbolize the four primordial elements, water, fire, air, and earth. Some altares, such as the ones made by Ophelia Sparza, will have an arch to represent a window that allows the spirit of loved ones to view the ofrendas upon the arrival. Foil and tin figures of plants, skeletons, animals, and religious icons are also used to decorate the altares. Some altares might also contain a petate. So the materials needed for the altar are going to be one shoe box or any small box, scissors, glue, buttons, beads, ribbons, glitter, anything to decorate, tissue paper for papel picado and for your flowers, pipe cleaners, and LED lights. First, take your tissue paper, choose the colors that you'd like to use. Cut two inch squares and line them up in the pattern you'd like to display. You're gonna fold each one and you're gonna cut geometric shapes, um, almost like the way you'd cut a snowflake and then open it up. And each one will be different in pattern. Next, you're gonna take each one and you're gonna line them up in the pattern of color that you like. You're gonna place a small amount of glue along the top and you're going to string them, putting the string and folding the flap over on each one. I made two strands, but you're welcome to make as many as you like. First, you will take your tissue, six sheets at a time, and you will do a fan fold. After that, you will fold it in half and you will cut two little notches in triangular shape where the pipe cleaner will sit as a stem. That will secure it in place. You will then take the two ends and you will round them off by cutting a crescent half circle. After that, you will take it and stem down. You will lift each petal upward one by one, alternating sides, right and left and right and left to make it an even flower. Feel free to look at uh, Dewey's class workshop from Flor de Papel and also Daniel's Papel Picado, which are also other workshops available. I searched online for an easy skull image. I searched Google and this image popped up. When I was happy with the drawing that I drew in pencil, then I went ahead and traced it in an acrylic, refillable black acrylic marker. Now it's time to decorate your shoebox and make it a mini altar. Personalize your altar using your papel picado, flowers, buttons, beads, ribbons, and any imagery that reminds you of your loved ones. Remember, it's about you, your family, and your ancestors. So have fun decorating your altar. I found these little round and squared mirrors at the dollar store. So anywhere you go, and you probably have things in your drawers that you're keeping for different activities, this is the best place to bring them out and showcase them. Add your ofrendas, your offerings, to loved ones who have passed. 
My ofrendas include salt, oregano, chile de árbol, and water for my ancestors. The altar de muerto is important to me because it reminds us and our families to always keep our ancestors in mind, our loved ones that have passed. Once a year we get to celebrate them and their life that they shared with us. <laughs>